Tonight we've got a open to the community art show for all the members that participate in Studio 35 here in Rhode Island. They've got a variety of different artwork from paintings to we've got a little bit of sculpture and drawing and other art. Uh, there's a lot of jewelry making and um, basically it's a great self-esteem building community based activity for our clients. A lot of people meet here and they're mentally challenged and they have activities and they, uh, well, the art show is just part of one of the activities. I was referred here, but once I got here, I knew I wanted to stay here. I've been here two and a half years and I just love it. It gets me out of the house, I'm doing meaningful work, it's like having a part-time job. And I just really love the people, the management and members. Harbor House is a place that I can come and feel welcome and feel like I belong. Um, for someone who has a mental illness, it's um, really a life-saving um, place for me because whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, I can come and have something to do, someone to talk to, um, and uh, lots of fun things happen too. For me, it was definitely the social skills because I spent so much of my life shy and you know, kind of hiding away from people. Here I get to work with all the people that have maybe similar problems, maybe harder problems than me, and that, and at the same time, that helps myself. It's just such a wonderful outlet, you know. It's 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 soothing. I love color. I love working with color. I also make jewelry, so I use that as a uh, an outlet, creative outlet too. For me, art is a very important uh, therapeutic process. Um, I have been able to um, uh, be encouraged to make my jewelry, to sell it um, through Studio 35's um, uh, encouragement, and that's a big thing for me. So um, not only do I get to experience different mediums, but I've received a lot of like encouragement in um, making my own business, selling my jewelry. In this circumstance, putting it's not just making paintings, it's organizing the art show, it's uh, getting the word out there, promoting it, and uh, then selling it here. So uh, they've put a lot of work into it, and it's really great for their self-esteem, and it's also great for just their overall readiness to get back out into the workspace, because this is what we're doing. Art activities and art therapy is a wonderful tool to be able to utilize as a communications uh, medium. Individuals that struggle with a trauma history or just have difficulty communicating in general are usually um, ideal candidates for uh, an art therapy or art activity in the sense that they're able to paint what's going on or even be able to uh, find some relief in the use of art as a coping skill. But I also really like to see the self-esteem component of them seeing their finished product up on the wall, their name is next to it, and whether or not it sells, they're able to share it with their peers and the community and the staff as a whole. When I look at something I've created, I see the paintings up on the wall, I say, wow, I did that. You know, and it's a really good sense of accomplishment. I've seen people who think they can't do anything, um, feel confident when they hold something in their hand that they've made. Um, and I also can see how uh, Studio 35 and the art therapy that it does um, bring people out of their shell. I'm so grateful that the art show, Studio 35, and uh, you know, doing the art program here at Harbor House is a huge part of my life, and I can't imagine now that I've experienced not having it. it it's giving our members a really good foundation, and it's not just helping them sort of come up with beautiful art, which it is, but it, it's putting them in a place where now they can go out into the community and work and contribute into society and, and that's their ultimate goal at Harbor House. Mm -hmm.